eight year old girl in Navasota was hit by a stray bullet early Friday morning. She was rushed to the hospital where police say she was treated for minor injuries. So this little girl is now back home with her family and she heals not just from that physical wound, but emotional ones as well. Anna Maynard spoke with the victim and her grandmother earlier today. I didn't hear the first gunshots. I just hear running and she got to my room and she said, Gigi, I think I've been shot. A stray bullet pierced the window in eight year old Kylie Hightower's room early Friday. It struck her arm before hitting the wall. It was terrifying because I didn't know if she was, you know, still with us or not. Kylie was treated at a hospital in Bryan, but her healing process is just beginning. Like if I hear like a boom, I would be scared and my heart would just drop and I'd start beating it real fast. So I try to just be calm, like when I get around here, sometimes I'd be scared to go in like in my room. Kylie's grandmother says this isn't the first time she's called the police over gunshots near her home. Her most recent call was around three weeks ago. But we heard boom, 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 more shots. Navasota didn't reply Monday when asked for information about the shooting. They said in a press release Friday for people with information to come forward. Michelle hopes someone will take action to prevent anyone else from going through what Kylie did. Next time somebody's life might be taken, you know, so I really just need to think they need to just go at it full force and, you know, take this very, very seriously. For now, she's happy to have Kylie on the road to recovery. I just know she came to me and said she was shot and she looked up at me and she said, Gigi, I I'm going to be OK. In Navasota, Anna Maynard, News 3. The family has started a GoFundMe to help pay with medical bills. We'll put that online with this story on our website.